Um, my name is Janice. I'm the farm manager here at Rootcoss Farm. Um, we are a giving garden. We're kind of like a community garden, um, but also kind of like a farm. We grow about an acre of organic produce for donation. Um, we grow it with intention and with care and with people in mind, and we grow it and we give it away to people. Uh, we have various programs here at the farm. Um, we have an internship program where you can see a couple of our interns working with some volunteers um, today um, where we do um, education and we're essentially training um, interns to become food system leaders um, to learn about growing food to learn more about the food system and about justice within the food system and how to carry that into the next path of their lives um, we also host a lot of volunteers, like AYM being a, one of our biggest volunteer groups that come out every year. Um, where we, we gather under our hickory tree where we're here now and we have really deep conversations about hunger and food security and why hunger exists and all the interconnected points of justice and equity within the food system. And then we head out into the garden and work together. Um, we also host a lot of volunteers. It's been a little bit different this year with COVID, um, but we're having folks come on Thursday and Friday mornings. Um, whereas in a typical year, we have Wednesday volunteer nights where we have a potluck once a month. Um, the people can work, gather and work together towards a common mission and goal, and we share a meal together um, once a month as a potluck. So we grow a number of different crops in the garden. Diversity is really important to us. Um, here we have garlic growing that is almost ready to be pulled out. Um, it's got about a week or two left that we planted this last fall. It's been growing all winter into the spring. Um, a lot of our food goes to different places, um, including Bounty and Soul, which you might have heard of. Um, they have a really amazing whole person approach um, where they're distributing fresh produce and, and food waste from the food system um, back to the community from different groceries. And also they partner with a ton of, of local gardens and farms. Um, we also have a new partner this year called Asheville Survival Program. They're in West Asheville. They're distributing primarily to the most marginalized communities around Asheville. Um, we also donate to our local food pantry, which is how we originally got started um, with our farm, was growing food um, for our local food pantry as there was no fresh produce available there. Um, we go there every Monday to distribute food. Um, and then here at the garden, we have a share market every Thursday from 11 to 1 where anyone can come out and pick up produce. So here at Root Cause Farm, we have a motto that um, we believe that there are many types of hunger, that everyone is hungry for something and everyone has something to give. So as we're thinking about hunger, um, we're thinking about all the different ways that people might be hungry. It might be physical hunger, it might be emotional hunger, connection, or being out in nature, or having belonging. So some, a part of education that we do is we talk about, similar to our name, root causes of hunger. Um, so we have this root cause tree activity that we learned from the Highlander Center. They're the oldest organized social justice organization in the US, um, where we talk about hunger and the, the most obvious like signs and symptoms of hunger. We look at the immediate causes that are more obvious, like um, the lack of choice or stress and anxiety and mental health challenges. And then we get really down into the hard stuff, talking about the roots. Um, some things that group ha have mentioned, like a culture being profit-driven, um, prejudice and systemic oppression, um, climate change and various issues that we see are, are so interconnected in food and others. So thanks for tuning in and learning more about Root Cause Farm. We really believe in the power of community and connection and working towards this together, addressing hunger and why it exists in the first place. So we invite you to check out your community, see what other folks are doing to make change and hop on board and, and, and change things.